Medicare is a federal program that helps provide health care coverage for nearly 60 million people. This number includes about 50 million senior citizens and 9 million younger people with certain disabilities. Unlike Medicaid, which is largely for low-income individuals and families, Medicare provides coverage for individuals at all income levels. In 2017, the Medicare program spent about $700 billion. The money helps pay for hospitalizations, doctor visits, prescription drugs, and other critical health care services. This may seem like a lot of money already, but Medicare spending is expected to continue growing as a percentage of the economy. At Medicare's annual financial checkup in 2018, Medicare's trustees found that, in a little less than a decade, the program may not be able to pay all of its bills. Let's take a look at some of the reasons why Medicare's spending is growing and some of the ways that the problem can be treated to improve the program's financial health and ensure it remains sustainable for future generations. One reason is that the number of Medicare beneficiaries is increasing. On average, every day, 10,000 people turn 65 and become eligible for Medicare. In addition, people are living longer. By 2030, about one in five Americans will be age 65 or older. Another reason is that Medicare spending per beneficiary is growing, partly as a result of the introduction of new medical technologies and innovative drugs. These modern miracles can offer new treatment options and improve healthcare outcomes, but some can be expensive. Medicare funding comes primarily from three main sources, workers, beneficiaries, and federal revenues. Federal revenues, such as income taxes, and the monthly premiums that beneficiaries pay help Medicare cover doctor's services and prescription drugs. A Medicare payroll tax that all workers pay funds hospital services. Before 2008, Medicare's trust fund for hospital services generally got larger each year because payroll tax collections were more than enough to pay for these services. But since then, as Medicare spending on hospital services has increased, payroll tax collections haven't been keeping up. Starting in 2026, payroll taxes will still flow into the trust fund but are projected to flow out immediately and only cover about 91% of all hospital-related Medicare spending. As the cost of the Medicare program grows, changes will be necessary to control spending in the program, increase revenues from taxpayers or beneficiaries, or some combination of approaches. In the absence of such changes, the expanding program will put pressure on the government's ability to fund other national priorities. In recent years, Medicare has taken steps to better control spending, make the program more efficient, and increase revenue by taking additional actions to reduce improper payments and root out waste, fraud, and abuse, slowing the annual increases in payments made to healthcare providers such as physicians and hospitals, changing how healthcare providers are paid so that they have a financial incentive to provide healthcare more efficiently, reducing its cost, while maintaining or improving the quality of care, requiring high income beneficiaries to pay higher payroll taxes and higher premiums for Medicare coverage of physician services and prescription drugs. As we and others have noted, the degree to which these reforms will slow Medicare spending is uncertain. What is certain is that continued attention will be necessary to get Medicare on a financially sustainable long-term path. Some stakeholders have suggested that more comprehensive structural reforms may be needed to get Medicare's financial health back on track, such as changing eligibility requirements. For example, increasing the age at which beneficiaries become eligible for Medicare could help slow program growth down a little. Or, some believe that providing beneficiaries with a set amount of money to purchase health insurance in the private market would better control costs by fostering competition among health plans. Any changes to the program will have to be carefully considered in light of their effect on the cost for the program and its beneficiaries, access to appropriate health care services, and quality of care. The sooner changes are made, the easier it will be to restore Medicare's long-term financial health and ensure that it's sustainable for generations to come. Delaying the treatment will only make the eventual cure that much more difficult. Learn more at GAO.gov.